Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. You are ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck and expansion. I want to welcome all new visitors. I hope you enjoy your stay here. I hope you'll uh, join the tribe, so to speak. And I want to thank all of my wonderful subscribers who have supported me. We are a fairly new channel. And um, I really just want to thank everyone who entered the contest for a free reading to win a phone reading with me by liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. All right, what is the overall energy? This is a cross watchers video. This is thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you from your person of interest. This is almost like I spy and I am a Gemini, the tribe. Okay, so this tells me that your person is very loyal to a group of people, family members, anybody this person considers part of their tribe. They really love them. They don't take people in randomly. This is a person whose life is built on loyalty and showing loyalty as a way they love. That's their language of love. All right, regeneration, something needs to change. This relationship is has had some pain. We see this sort of uh, tree that's been burnt to a crisp. So there could be some burnout. There may be, there's, this is definitely Scorpio energy. And it indicates that it's time to uh, mend, repair some wounds that have happened in this connection. All right, something has happened here recently. A big change. What has happened? Okay, so what is the other? One more energy card, please. There we go. Milk and honey. Oh, gorgeous. This is a relationship that feeds your person's soul. It, you actually, you very much activate their desire to be faithful and loyal. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the energy of this person towards you. In the recent past let's look we're going to clarify everything and i will give you practical advice to stay grounded with our oracle cards here we go okay sagittarius what is going on ninth house rulership of the ninth house of law higher education international travel foreign cultures diversity an open mind beautiful the Queen of Pentacles is energetically how they feel about you. That's Capricorn energy. It indicates that your person really counts on you. They really count on the fact that you're loyal, that you're substantial, that you know, you're willing to do the work, that they can depend on you, that if you say you're going to do something, you live up to whatever you say you're going to do. The current, uh, the current energy for this person in this relationship is one of... The Four of Cups can be boredom, but you can really see it feels more stressed out than that. This person is feeling like, oh man, what is going on here? My, And this also says to me that the person could be having their own crisis. This exhaustion, this situation we've been in in the world is, um, you know, it's sort of a downer. I mean, it's not just sort of, it is a downer. This person looks exhausted, fatigued. They're, they're, they want more love, they want to give more love, and yet they just feel as though they're scraping the bottom of the barrel. They're just feeling really exhausted. All right. It also shows that they could be disappointing in a, disappointed in a dream or something that they really wanted. And in regard to the relationship, they probably are a little bit disengaged with you right now. All right, beautiful energy, how they see the situation. Rock solid. They see your relationship as being very strong. The eight of coins means that they feel that there's still more to learn about the relationship, about you, how to have a good relationship with you. The eight of coins is the apprentice becoming the master. And the eight shows, you know, a high level of understanding. But you know what? We don't, you know, it's when we get to the Ten of Pentacles, we have a whole new cycle. So this is really a very, the person likes this cycle. They like getting to know you. How they see you right now is you are a bit thorny. <laughs> the Eight of Wands says that they just want to have this wonderful, beautiful passion with you. Temperance, here you are, sad. You have shown up in your reading. This person really wants to get along with you. They want to reconcile any differences. The Five of Swords is a card that indicates conflict, and it can be ego-driven. 
you know, when we look at Scorpio energy, we're looking at somebody who feels as though they might have said or done the wrong thing and that, that now they have regrets about it. It's sort of giving them a headache. This is a person, though, they, they show love differently than you do. And so all these cards just fell out. Let me retrieve. <laughs> there we go. Okay. The truth of the situation is in their heart space. They think about you a lot. You may be in a third party situation and or the three of swords indicates that there may be something keeping this person away from you. There are problems that exist. Sometimes if someone say someone's a single parent, they have so much responsibility that they're juggling. And so that could be one reason for the Three of Swords, because this person definitely sees you as her significant other, Sag. But if you are in a three-party situation, this person's trying to figure out what their truth is. What is their truth? They feel as though they're not really ready. There's conflict because we see two fives here. So there's ego-driven conflict in their heart. They're sort of mad at you. You know, they're sort of mad at you, Sag, because this person feels as though they made you a beautiful offer and, you know, you're kind of, you have your eyes closed to it. So they're feeling a little unappreciated. They're also feeling a little bit egotistical and a little bit um, like the devil energy says that they think that what they've given you is good enough. And now you don't seem satisfied with it, which makes them feel unsatisfied. And so they don't know quite what to do. We're going to clarify those cards. Okay, so how do they see the situation moving forward? How do they see the situation moving forward in your relationship? The Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love, sharing emotions, telling, they, telling you that they love you. All right, coming with an open heart. Okay, what else? They want a victory with you. That flipped over. They definitely want to win. Now, we have a, some Leo energy here, too. So that is um, Leo energy, Leo energy, indicating that, you know, their passion. They, they kind of feel like they've done all the right things. The world card, though, your reaction to them makes them feel very much as though you're going to leave. You are making them, well, you're not making them feel, but they feel because of the way you're reacting with them that they're a lightweight in love. There could be an age difference. There could be a maturity difference without a doubt. The six of coins says that they really do think they give equally to this relationship. The Queen of Cups says that they love you in their heart space dearly. Let's see what let's see what else we have here. They feel as though you're leaving them in the cold because you want something much more substantial. This card literally fell out like on top of this. So they feel they have a lot of options and your person knows that you have a lot of options, Sag. And they're wondering if you're going to take one of those options and leave them sort of feeling like burnt toast over here. Okay. So now we're going to clarify the cards and see what some of this means. That seems a little bit confusing. All right. So let's get the clarifiers warmed up here for Sagittarius. I'm not going to clarify some of these. These are very straightforward and simple. I'm just going to clarify the ones that are sort of problematic here. The Two of Pentacles. This person is of two minds. In terms of seeing the energy about the situation, they could be juggling again. You could be in a third party situation. You could feel like you have to compete and you feel like the situation is untenable for you. And they're reacting to all of that. And for some of you may have actually already walked away. They want a new beginning. Let's see, they want a new beginning in terms of, and that's on top of the juggling cards. They want a new beginning. <gasps> Look at that lover's card. They do see you as a soulmate. They absolutely see you as a soulmate for them. Okay, so what is it that they are, want to stop juggling? Why do they want a new beginning with juggling? Why do they want a new beginning with that? The Ace of Swords. They want to tell you the truth of how they feel. 
They absolutely want to clarify things. They want to let you know where you stand and where do you stand. Sag, whoops, we're going to take that card. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you stand independent, strong, powerful. They know that you do not need them. Ouchie. Ooh, no wonder this person doesn't know quite what to do. Uh, okay, so do they want to keep juggling the Three of Swords right now? The answer to that is unfortunately. They want you as their lover. They love you dearly. They feel as though the commitment that they're in, they have undying loyalty towards everyone that they love. I would say also, too, there are likely to be children um, that they would not leave. All right. So leaving children behind is the biggest obstacle that I see. And they feel as though your attitude is like, really? Like, really, you're going to waste my love. You're going to throw it away and let these coins drop off the side. And you're just going, because of this loyalty that you have that isn't even, you know, to me, Ace of Wands, you want them to declare you as being very important in your life. And they know that. They know that. They know they have to take action to save the relationship or else you are walking away. I think this is so funny. There's a very cute tarot reader online, um, Jennifer, who is a fire and water tarot. And she always says, does my butt look big as I walk away? And I think that's so funny because this one, it, it just reminds me of her all the time and I like to watch her. So anyway, if you've not been over to see her, I would highly recommend her. She's a good reader. All right, so she's a great reader, actually. Okay. The King of Cups energy is Scorpio energy clarifying. This person loves, 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 loves you. They don't know how to come back from this. But a Scorpio King, I assure you, will figure it out. The Scorp Scorpio knows how to rise from the ashes. And if I sound funny, it's because I'm yet again picking up cards that want to talk to me on the floor as I speak. Okay. Your person wants to find balance. Justice indicates that they know that to keep you, if you are in a third party situation, that they have to find a balance between you and their family obligations. They want new passionate beginning. They would love to be married to you, okay? I'm gonna say straight up, this person would love to be married to you. Ten of Cups, they see you as really loving. How do they feel about their marital partner? Because the devil speaks to the fact that they feel sort of almost like it's hell, hell on earth to be in this situation. What does your person feel about this devil and how it relates to trying to form a life with you? They are probably the sole support of their family. Their family has to have them. That's how they view it. There's, this, is not, this is not even a question for them that they think about. And yet they see you as a very wise person, a very loved person, a loving person, a very beautiful person, that you're the high priestess, that you're the spiritual one, that you have an understanding of this. They feel as though they're like childlike in the way that they come to you. They want the love. <laughs> they want your love so much that they're willing to put a teapot on their head. They're trying to attract you by putting water into this cup so the fishies come over. The fishy phone, is, uh, as another reader calls it, Ramblin' Mike always calls us, oh, the fishy phone, you know, I think you're going to get a phone call. Love him too. Uh, Nine of Swords indicates that this person cannot sleep at night. They want to come in and they want to tell you the truth. They want to tell you that they just are not able to, um, at this time, they don't see a way out. And they're, they're afraid that you're going to think that they used you. The truth is not at all. This person feels as though you are a rock star. You are their rock of Gibraltar. You're beautiful. They know that you always demand the truth because you have Queen of Swords energy on top of the Ace of Swords energy and the King of Swords. They really understand how you think, how you feel. This person would never have used you. They're not that way.
this person has a lot of options. They could use people if they wanted to, but they don't. And that's beautiful energy. I love it. Why is the Seven of Cups here for you, the Hanged Man? This person really knows. Oh, look at how afraid they are. The Five of Cups indicates that they're trying to pretend to the outside world that they're just, they're juggling and it's successful. But look at, look at how the love is spilling out of this cup from the juggling. They feel as though you're falling out of love with them. They're very fearful of it because though they look like they're, oh, I'm okay over here. I'm just juggling. Um... They are holding on to these two cups, and that's a bride and groom card. Two of cups is a bride and groom card in the Rider weight deck. And it shows that they have their eyes closed, and they're just hanging on for dear life to these cups. Like, please don't let there be an earthquake. Please don't let me be thrown off my balance. I don't want to lose this person in my life. Oh, very intense. Life is so complicated, is it not? Well, I'm a Gemini. I think I make things complicated. <laughs> so let's see what else we have here. Why does this person, there's a walking away and an ending and a new beginning uh, in the energy of what's hidden here. The Three of Wands, it looks as though you interpreted some of their actions that were immature. This person was very immature. When pigs fly, the way they love or the way they've behaved with you in the recent months is like, well, when pigs fly, that'll work just fine. And in the process, my feeling is very much that many of you have just felt that that was a total betrayal, that you're ready for something new. Sagittarius, a world card, really is your card. You are, you know, international travel, the world card. This person also can be from a different culture, a different ethnicity, or a different country of origin. Uh, the Three of Wands, they really want a future with you. They cannot imagine not having you in their life. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here for our beautiful Sages? Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Sun card reversed. Now, the Sun card reversed really isn't worse. It just says that you are their sunshine, you're their happiness, but you're not radiating that energy right now. That if they lose you, if you fully walk away and they don't think you have quite yet, um, they feel as though their happiness will just go down the drain. Their life and their world will be turned upside down, and it's not a good thing for them. Why, what do they need to give you? This is equal give and take. This is a balanced partnership and relationship. What is it that they think they give you for pentacles? They think they give you stability by holding on to you. Okay. Why does there need to be? Why do you need to go? Okay, so you're at the four of pentacles. The five of pentacles is getting left out in the cold. They're trying to bridge the gap. They want to come in from out of the cold. So they want to do something and give you something that's going to <laughs> it's going to bring them in from out of the cold. It's kind of an act of service is what I feel, Hierophant. Something very traditionally relationship-oriented. They, they are going to come in and behave almost as if they're married to you. They want to give you some sort of um, deep level of gift, but it's of service, like I said. So if your person knows how to fix plumbing and you have a plumbing problem, they're going to be Johnny on the spot or Janie on the spot <laughs> to come over and help. I want to know why the devil card is here. The devil card, this is the most beautiful, this is, a, this is a beautiful devil, right? A beautiful devil who can torture you endlessly because they're so beautiful. And that is how their person sees their family life with, with having children. Sagittarius, they truly believe that you should never abandon a child this this that it's unforgivable and they they feel and this is this is wheel of fortune you know that is uh your energy uh the wheel of fortune's turning in their favor um they are trying to ignore the fact that you may want them to leave a third party situation but they're also not seeing it clearly what is this person not seeing clearly for a beautiful sages what is this person not seeing clearly what is this person not seeing clearly? Okay, this one wanted to flip. 
how strong, well, you, they do know that your relationship is very strong. What they're not seeing, though, is that you're going to walk away and let them do whatever they need to do. You'll walk away with love, okay? The strength card is the infinity symbol. It means that you philosophically will walk away, and this is what they're not quite getting, that you can walk away while still loving them and, and recognizing that, that maybe you won't come together in this lifetime, that maybe this is a relationship for another lifetime. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why do they feel left out in the cold? Yep, world card once again. They feel as though you are just going to walk away, that you're going to treat them really well, that you're going to be very kind, and that you're going to leave and go on and have success in a different marriage, another place, another time. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for the way they see you? The Eight of Wands, they want it to be with them. Oh, man. This is tortured. Okay. The milk and honey. You are their milk and honey. You are their happiness. You are their sunshine, quite literally. The page of swords. They really... This person is feeling really upset, really kind of angry. They want to say something kind of snarky to you, but they know that they shouldn't. But they feel immature. They feel like they don't have the tools to deal with this. All right, so again, I think there could be an age difference here. However, this person is very mature. The Emperor card is going to follow tradition, and they know that you know that about them. The Ace of Coins, though, they're going to offer you something. They're going to still try to continue to maintain this family life while offering you something of great substance. Um, and for some of you, you know, you, I don't see the relationship ending, but I do see that this person, if they want you in their lives, they're going to have to offer you a much more balanced relationship up to and including passion with a lot of loyalty. How do you stay grounded in this situation? How do you stay grounded? And what we have here, Sag. I'm going to sign off momentarily, sanctuary, retreat, find a heaven, rest, try to heal yourself because this is going to be a bit of a, you know, this is going to be a bit of a rough spot here until late July. All right. It was great speaking with you. I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you, my lovelies.